Hi everyone. Today I'm going to be showing you how you can have perfectly stamped nail art every time. Now you might not like this design and I think it is kind of ugly but I'm doing this design just simply to show you how you can have perfectly stamped nails every time. In trying to get your stamp image onto your nail. So here are the materials that you're going to need to follow along. You will need paper towel, your scraper, stamper, your image discs. These are just a fraction of the image discs that I actually have. Um, I'll be selling these soon in my my web store. You will need wax paper, and clear nail polish. I'm going to be showing you a couple brands of clear nail polish, but I want to show you what works and what doesn't work. So both of those clear nail polish are Sally Hansen, but not both of them works. And of course there's Conad, we know it works, and also Sally Hansen Insta Dry works, Sally Hansen Extreme uh, where it works and you will need an exacto knife. This is my little dollar store exacto knife. You will need a sharpie marker. A small pair of scissors. A nail file. nail polish remover and not mandatory either Advil, Tylenol and a glass of water. I um, will be using these two images from the disc. Uh, the one on the left is kind of a crackle effect and the one on the right I just want the little scrolly detail on the bottom. So first we'll start with the little crackle effect and I'm going to use um, the Sally Hansen Insta Dry. So putting on the polish, scrape, and there it is on the stamper. Okay, I'm going to roll it onto my nail, and it didn't all come off the stamper. So I'll try it again. Clean the image plate. You need to clean the image plate after each stamp or it's not going to work. So clean the image plate, clean the stamp again. I'm wiping it off my fingernail. And right here, let me zoom in. Maybe you can see better.
Okay, putting on a bit of polish and I rarely go all the way down the image if it's a large image like that because when you scrape it pushes the polish down to the end anyway. So stamp and I'm going to roll it onto my finger. Uh, yeah, missed some on the end. Maybe I can squish it on there. Well, it did, but now on that side it's darker than the rest. See that on the edge there? Now the pattern's darker on one side. Just one of the frustrations of stamping your nails. Okay, and so doing it this way, of course, now I would have to remove the part above the nail that I didn't want on there. And I don't know what happened to my video showing me stamping the red part there, but it's gone. Somewhere it's gone. But anyway, it might look like it stamped right, but it didn't. Only part of the image stamped. So if I wanted to carry on with this, I would have to remove this partial red scrolly design, and I might even have to redo the the crackle effect because part of the red is coming up onto the other part. And it's at this point where you might want to take some of that Advil or Tylenol with a nice big glass of water. All right. Well, anyone that's tried to stamp their nails knows the frustration. But now I'm going to show you how you can do it and have perfectly stamped nails every time. I'm using the Sally Hansen Hard as Nails. This is the Sally Hansen Mega Shine. And I just wanted to say, oh, and this is the Sally Hansen Extreme Wear. The Sally Hansen Extreme Wear and the Sally Hansen Mega Shine does not work with this. I painted a little part with the Sally Hansen Mega Shine on a little piece of wax paper over an hour ago and it's still wet. I've painted it and left it overnight and it still didn't dry. So I found that the Sally Hansen Hard as Nails works. It only takes about 10-15 oh, minutes for it to dry and it does work. But if you know of another clear nail polish that works, do let me know. So, okay, I'm taking the Sally Hansen Hard as Nails Clear Nail Polish and I've painted a little swatch on the wax paper. And it can be really hard to see because it is transparent, it's clear. So sometimes putting a white piece of paper underneath it helps. But even more than that, take your Jiffy marker, and this is what I do. I draw little squares on the wax paper. Everywhere that I want to stamp a little parcel of the image, I just draw little black boxes. And then I can paint right inside each one of those little black boxes and there will be no doubt where I've painted. So here I'm putting one coat in each one of the squares. And I'm not globbing it on. I mean, it doesn't have to be on real thick. Just a normal coat. Okay, now I'm going to wait until it's dried. And then I put a second coat on each one of the squares and waited until that dried. You'll want to watch part two to find out how to stamp the designs perfectly every time. You are really going to enjoy that video. 
so make sure that you watch part two. And please rate, subscribe, and comment. See you in part two.